my name is Mohamed Aminu Alabira. I am the Northern Regional Correspondent for City TV, City TV, City FM. Yeah, I'm on the 27th of December. I was last week, Saturday, I was in Yendi to cover the MPP primaries. Last two weeks, sorry. I was in Yendi to cover for my station the MPP primaries. Um, it got to a time the process got disrupted. A gentleman walked to where the ballots were being counted, accusing the electoral commissioner of doing something to the bylaws of the other opponent there. That situation led to the destruction of the whole process, leading to the destruction of the ballot papers, chairs, and tables around that place. So by then, my station called me live on TV, on Zoom. I was record, uh, reporting all what was happening there on TV. So uh, it got to a time the member of parliament for Yendi, Honorable Farouk, he got up and was moving towards the police, asking, where is the commander? Where is the commander? He should be held responsible. Why did you allow the gentleman to come to the... To the po because the place was cordoned off. So why did they allow the gentleman to walk in there? So there, because I was carrying it live, all the process, I was still, it was still live on TV. So when he was moving towards the police commander, the police voice stopped him. So as an opportunity that I was trying to give him, brother. So I came to him. So honorable, tell me, you are live on city TV. What is happening here? What is happening? Tell me. Before I realized, he just slapped me and then kicked me. I was pulled back by the police officers there. Then his bodyguard, one polio or something, he just rushed to help me. Before I realized, master, they start, everybody started beating me there. So I was rescued by the police, taken to the police bus there. And in the bus, I actually met the regional commander for the northern region, the divisional commander for Yendi, the EC officer who was being assaulted, and then the EC officer for Yendi municipality. She was a lady. That is the municipal director of EC. So we were taken through to the police station. Before we got to the police station, the member of parliament again led his tack, came and blocked the gate. He himself was blocked. Uh, he blocked the gate over there that we shouldn't come down. So we were in the bus for more than one hour with the police command uh, with the two police commanders in the bus until a reinforcement was called in that the the crowd that gathered at the police station there were dispersed that was after one hour and that was the time we got our freedom to come down um from there what i was while still in the police station my uh, was the, the military from bimbila they, they they came to assess so they called me if I were ready, then they would take me home. They would take me back to Bimbila, and that was a, that was what happened. I was escorted from Yendi to Bimbila by the military, who came to assess. And actually, this was this was what happened to me. It was the following day that I came to make a formal complaint to the police, and I was given the police medical form, which I took to the Yendi hospital, and later brought back. So later the, from uh, Yendi division the case was moved to the regional level so currently the case is still with the regional police command